The Niagara Deionizer is easily installed with the following six-step process. Step 1. Determine location of the deionizer. Find a location inside that is near a power outlet and a facility water source. Step 2. Next, mount the bracket securely to a solid surface that is suitable to hold at least a 150-pound load. The bracket has two pre-drilled holes that will accommodate customer-supplied mounting hardware. The deionizer must be mounted in a vertical position. We recommend mounting the bottom of the deionizer bracket at waist height for ease of cartridge replacement. Next, install cartridge. Start by screwing the quick coupler fittings onto each end of the deionizer cartridge. Then, place the cartridge into the mounting bracket, ensuring that the top of the cartridge is pointed up. Make sure to secure the cartridge with retaining strap and connect hoses at quick couplings. Step 4. Plug the water quality light into an outlet that is GFCI approved and the correct voltage. The voltage requirements will be printed on the plug. Step 5. Connect inlet hose to water spigot and open fully to ensure full water flow and pressure are available to the deionizer. And the final step. Qualify water supply by checking the flow rate through included purger. This can be done by mating the purger with hose end assembly and verifying that a minimum of two gallons per minute is achieved. This can be measured with a bucket and a watch with a second hand. Note. Should a 2 GPM flow rate not be produced, refer to the troubleshooting guide in your water supplies instruction booklet. High quality water can now be obtained right from the tap with the Niagara deionizer. There is a six step process to use the deionizer for watering your batteries. First, be sure to open the water spigot completely. You should have at least a two gallon per minute flow rate through the purger. Step 2. Check the water quality light to ensure that your cartridge is not expelled. If the green light is on, you have acceptable water. If the light indicates unacceptable water quality, the filter cartridge must be replaced. Step 3. Then, remove the dust cover and connect the deionizer to your battery's water supply line. In the next step, observe the flow indicator. It will slowly spin to a stop. This indicates that all valves have shut off and filling is complete. Step 5. With the indicator balls at a full stop, disconnect the couplers by depressing the push button on the supply line. And the final step, be sure to replace the dust cover on the supply line. Slightly squeeze the cover before sliding it over the coupler to create a vacuum, allowing it to hold tightly. Always follow FlowRite's required watering procedures using approved equipment. It's best to always water a battery that is warm from a fresh full charge. For heavy use applications, Flowrite recommends watering a maximum of once per week and for light use applications, once per month. The Flowrite deionizer does require regular maintenance on a quarterly and seasonal schedule. Please review your manual for specific details.